Opening statements are set to begin today in the retrial of former LMPD detective Brett Hankison, charged with depriving Brianna Taylor of her rights the night she was killed. The jury of 12 jurors and four alternates was officially selected Friday. Our team reports it's made up of eight women and seven men. Only one juror is black, which was also the case in Hankison's first federal trial last November. In court last week, the judge heard arguments about whether or not Hankison's actions at LMPD before 2020 can be used. The judge is expected to make that decision today. We will continue to follow this case and will be in federal court today too. stay up to date on any new developments by watching us at noon and downloading the free WHAS 11 app. E-Town police say 39 year old George Lee Jr. is in critical condition this morning after he was shot by police. Lee is accused of firing shots near the emergency room of Baptist Health Heart in around five Saturday morning. He was then shot by an officer. WHAS 11's Alexandra Goldberg has the details. Shots rang out at an Elizabethtown hospital. I've never encountered anything like this at this hospital. Uh, you know, this is something that we prepare for, train for daily. Hope it never happens. Here at Baptist Health Harden, police say they responded around 5 a.m. to a report of an active shooter near the emergency room. Elizabethtown Police Public Affairs Officer Chris Denham says before police arrived, an adult male fired gunshots with a handgun. Police say then an officer shot the suspect who was not fatally wounded, but was airlifted to the University of Louisville for treatment. We're very proud of our officer for their swift actions and, and response that uh, obviously afforded a very bad situation. really want to commend the efforts of the Baptist Health Hardened Security staff. They contacted an armed gunman uh, unarmed and uh, I'm really, really proud of them for, for the job they did. WHAS 11's Clarice Shaley was at the scene in Elizabethtown right after the incident occurred. Any indication while you're in the hospital of anything like that? No, everybody seemed pretty pleasant and friendly. Ryan Williams was at the hospital for routine testing during the incident, but says he didn't know anything out of the ordinary was going on inside. He says he was shocked. It's a uh, just the times we live in, it's just, it's just not getting safe in this in the world. Michael Klamowski heard about the shooting from his sister, who works at Baptist Health. Talk to me, I'm like, are you okay? Is everyone okay? And she's like, we're fine. Everyone's fine here. Klamowski says it was hard for him to hear about an officer-involved shooting this close to home. Now I'm just really upset and really concerned for. You know, the community. There were no other injuries reported at the shooting. In Elizabethtown, Alexandra Goldberg, WHAS 11, on your side. Both E Town Police and KSP are investigating. The officer who fired on the suspect was placed on two weeks of paid administrative leave, which is the standard protocol there. Indiana State Police are investigating a shooting involving their officers in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, which is just 30 minutes outside of Cincinnati in Dearborn County. Police say just before one Saturday morning, there was a man inside the Hollywood Casino threatening and chasing people with a knife. When officers got there, they learned that man also had a gun and was firing it on the fourth floor of the hotel. When police confronted him, they say he opened fire on them. Police say they then returned fire, hitting and killing that suspect. None of the officers were hurt in the exchange. Here in the Metro, police are investigating after finding a body in the Russell neighborhood. Just before 9 Sunday morning, police responded to reports of a person down in the road on 18th Street near Muhammad Ali Boulevard. Officers found a man who they say was obviously dead but had no obvious signs of injuries. LMPD's homicide unit is investigating while the coroner's office determines the cause of death. All of the victims in that deadly house fire in Carrollton, Kentucky have been recovered. Fire officials say Saturday morning they recovered the body of the fourth and final person. Now the three other victims were discovered Friday. The state medical examiner will identify the remains. We know two people survived last Thursday's fire, a man who was not at the house at the time and a three year old who was rescued by police near the back door. Officials said the child is hospitalized and continues to improve. Again, that's the reason I say we need to pray for this community. Uh, the whole community, when one hurts, the whole community hurts here. State arson investigators are looking into the cause of that fire. A possible merger between Cigna and Humana is back on the table. Bloomberg News reports the two insurance companies have resumed discussions about a potential deal. Cigna initially tried to merge with Humana in 2023, but called talks off in December when the two companies could have come to an agreement on financial terms. Neither company has publicly commented on the merger. Humana employs more than 12,000 people in Louisville and is the fifth largest employer in the city.